So for this inflatable bag monster, which technique is called polyethylene fabrication, I needed a particular valve to make sure that air would flow into the delicate and intricate mouth section. To accomplish this, I took an old cottage cheese carton, cut off the rim in order to make the outer circle, and cut out the inner part of a gallon milk jug cap in order to make the center circle. And I used zip ties in order to connect connect the two circles together while still leaving enough room for the air to transfer. The inner circle would be used for the tongue while the outer circle for the mouth or lips. Now as for the actual bag part, I would need the plastic bag which I used the fries, grocery bags, as well as some bread bags and placing it between two pieces of paper. I would tighten and straighten out the plastic to reduce the amount of wrinkles in the seam and then put the second layer of paper over it. This keeps the plastic from sticking to the wood burner as I burn in the design. And this process seams and as well as cuts plastic bag creating a custom bag. As you can see here I combined several of these bags into a rough slug like shape with refrigerator tubing as the air supply hooked up to a vacuum. Then I textured gently and carefully pinching and pulling sections of the bag in order to create little spines or barbs or even teeth. Now sometimes these would tear as well as some of the seams could come apart and to repair them I used scotch tape. With the textures added I blew it up so I can decide how I wanted to paint it. Most paints don't work on plastic as I discovered with Joshua's tongue from my critter hand puppet project but sharpie permanent markers work wonders. I painted the tongue black with pink, purple, green, light blue color accents and also found that the darker blue becomes more of a metallic purple. Ultimately it fills up with air quite well and its arms as well as eye or feeler stalks and even the tongue move having been attached to 8 pound fishing line, allowing them to curl and contract.